guys, Jess the Bus Jess. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to show you my quick, um, what I did to my planner for this week and also our meal plan for the week. Um, really not doing too much different than what I normally do. And you guys know, when you, if you've watched my previous ones, I like to keep my planner very simple with a lot of blank space to keep um, so I can add to it as the week goes on because I never really know exactly what the week's going to look like at the beginning of it. But um, this is my new Happy Planner. Um, I've had a Happy Planner now for, this is only my second year, and before that I was using Erin Condren, but I really like the Happy Planner. And I just got this one like a month ago, so I'm enjoying it. This is the one that says Just Be Happy on it. Um, I got this like, I think it was Black Friday when it was on sale. So I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to show you what I have planned, and um, let's take a look. Okay, everybody, so this is what I have going on. Um, I just chose this really colorful um, layout. I added this washi tape here, and this washi tape here, and then all of the stickers came from the um, Me and My Big Ideas sticker packs. I love those. They are so awesome because I can pretty much do a whole um, layout with one page of stickers. And I did add, um, I think that was from another pack. But everything else was pretty much from one sheet, and I didn't even use all of it. So what I like to do up here, I like to leave the calendar. A lot of people cover it up, but I think that it's nice to kind of look if I need to schedule something and kind of see what day of the week falls on what day. Um, and then these are just my goals for the week. I just kept it really simple because if I do too many, <laughs> then um, I won't get it done. So I really want to get back into um, having devotions and reading my Bible. And then I have a bunch of videos I want to film. So those are my two goals. Um, I'm not always good about doing them every day, but I need to hold it on here so I can make sure I remember. And then this is what I'm doing to track my weight loss and goals. So I just did this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I just wrote that, that down there. And then T stands for tracking, and that's tracking all my food and my um, everything I eat, calories and everything. I do that on my phone. So if I track for that day, I will circle it. If I'm successful with it, I'll circle it. G is if I go to the gym, I can circle that. I want to go at least three days this week. And then W is water, so if I meet my water goal, I can circle that. So then when I'm looking back on this week, I can kind of see the days, what I did, and um, if I have a weight loss or a weight gain, then I can kind of see what led to that. Um, I like to keep this pretty open, and then if I have something major coming up, I'll write it in. But this just says note to self, think happy thoughts, and then that just says first coffee, that's always first. And then I have a little weekend thing. Like I said, I like to leave a lot of blank space so that I can go in and fill out. Tomorrow, um, I have Rise and Shine, and then I have a list of stuff. Oh, what is that? There we go. I'm sorry, guys. Um, a list of stuff that I need to get done. So I need to get some groceries, do some laundry. I definitely need to dust, and I was going to organize a couple of things. And um, tomorrow night is also the Alabama game. I need on Tuesday. I need to make a batch of crockpot chicken to so shred up for some recipes. And then this day, I have a list of stuff I need to get done, mostly cleaning and doing some YouTube videos. And then over here, I left it pretty open. This says, focus on this, dream big, and that says, make today great. And I will fill that in as I go with what we have coming on up. And then that's our youth service on Wednesday night. So here is my meals for the week. I really like meal planning. If you haven't um, ever done meal planning, it definitely saves you a lot of headache and time and money if you'll plan it out and get all of your ingredients that you need before the week starts. So Monday, I thought we have, I haven't made burgers in a while. I was going to look at in the store and just see if there was some like easy um, burgers already pre pattied out that I could make because Nate really likes burgers. So I thought we did some burgers and fries. I want to do chicken pot pie this week. That's why I'm making the chicken right there. So I want to get one made for dinner and then do one for the freezer. Um, the sweet and sour chicken in the crock pot. I figured we could have it going during church and then come back to it with rice. Um, I want to get, do some like baked chicken with potatoes and a salad on Thursday. Friday, I thought we could have breakfast for dinner. So I thought pancakes and bacon, maybe some scrambled eggs. Um, Saturday, I was going to make taco soup, and then Sunday, we'll just have some sandwiches with some, maybe some soup or just some chips or something. 
So it's a very easy layout. Um, for breakfast and lunch, we usually keep it pretty simple and um, eat the same kind of variety of food. But for dinner, I like to plan it. So that is my week. It's very simple. Like I said, there's a lot of like spaces, but I think it's functional and I can use it and I can look back on this side and see if I met my goals. I have a little list I can check off. And it's just a good overview of the week. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure you give a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, y'all.